we're going over my CM16 Raider build today. Now, this gun is DIY built. There's no expensive money put into it. There's no motor upgrades, no system, nothing, nothing extra. This is a stock CM16, just with outer cosmetics worked from at home. Now we're gonna start right here, which I have taken the whole gun apart and repainted. The handrail, I have done blue. I'm trying to go for a blue and black accent here. Um, I'm sorry if I say I'm a lot. I have taken the gun apart and repainted a lot on it. Not a lot, but it does look better. And over here we have a PVC electrical tape um, suppressor, mock suppressor. All it is is from working around, um, getting some extra PVC. I have a bunch of it in my garage from someone that gave it to me. They hid it from extra jobs. I believe they were a plumber, not sure. And we wrapped the long barrel with duct tape. And then with this PVC, we have tightened it over and it's just locked on. It is pretty straight. The grip, the foregrip is on an angle. All it is is an old bicycle grip taped to a fertilizer hose inside of it. I am gonna electrical tape this over. And actually the mount is the rear sight just flipped upside down. Another thing I'm going to do is take the slide off. All it is is a spring and screw. And I have messed this up when painting it because I did not ever care about it. I'm gonna remove that. So there's just gonna be this gap here. That's gonna look better. This is white. My stock is actually black, half gray. Everything else is left stock. I have ordered new mags, which I will show on the screen here. They're only $11 each, and you can get the big pack for $52 or even bigger pack for $100 something dollars. I believe it's eight mags. And I wanted to kind of match this. I'm going to get a grip cover, which is all black because I do not want to mess with my hand guard. I'm going to get a straight trigger, and all of this will be black once I get to it. This will probably go to blue or black or black with blue stripes because I don't know really what would look good if the stock is black. I am gonna put a name on the stock, but this gun actually is a really fun build to use for guests or just playing outside just if you're messing around. There's not much really you can do, but it is a very good gun I would recommend for beginners and some immediate, immediate players. Um, there's a lot of mods you can do to this gun, and it is an M4 style. It is very reliable and can really smash down on the field when you need it. If you drop it, it's not going to break. It's really rough built. It's nice, solid, it never breaks on me. We have moved on to this side, which is actually very pretty. It is smoother and more worked on. But it's just as bad as the other side. Sorry for the shaking. I keep hitting my camera mount. I will take this gun apart. Not completely because I have a newer model. And in here, my components are connected differently than all the videos I see on taking it apart. And it really confuses me. So when I do get upgraded internals, I'm going to have to send it out to get it worked on. But... I don't see this getting anything in it. I just don't use it that much. I'm probably going to move to a Lancer Tactical Rifle before I get any mods internally. Everything works honestly really amazing for how cheap this gun was, $200. That may sound like a lot, but in the airsoft world, that's like the common price in between two and 300 But for this gun, what it is... I'd say you can value it for probably $280. It is $200 without battery and charger. With battery and charger, it is around $250. I really recommend this gun. Very easy at home mods. And if you're wondering how I'm gonna work without the back sight, all you do is put your cheek on the back stock and line your eye up with the front sight. And it works like a dime every time.
You just have to be a really precision player. And this is good for indoor use. Outdoor, you're going to have a sight. And you want to get a hop up unless you get a different barrel. And this is just part one. In part two, we will have the gun taken apart. And we probably are going to finish painting the lower half. And possibly installing the trigger. But to do that, I'm going to have to get through this which I'm really not trying to figure out anytime soon. I'm not entirely into airsoft, but it is a beautiful gun to use. At home mods, pretty easy, simple. They're not really mods to like make the gun any better or worse, but the only thing I can say that can improve your gameplay is making custom grips. It is much easier to use on the field doing basic uh, lightweight mods, which you really do by removing anything you don't need. You can remove this, this, you can remove your sight. You can take out that metal piece in there, but that really keeps your barrel lined up. That keeps your sight lined up, which if you're gonna have a sight that you don't have a hop up for, you can spin the barrel upside down, but the same fitting won't work right here you can do stock mods all you do is pull this in and pull it right off you can actually do it right here now the stock is off and it's basically just a buffer tube which you do need to run one if you're gonna, you do need a stock if you're gonna have the battery hooked up. Which is a downside why they don't have a container in here for you to put batteries in. But I do have multiple batteries and I believe a stick battery could fit in here, hook up. And then the stick battery just runs straight in here and sits. You just need some type of end cap. And that would hurt if it hits your shoulder but that's if you really want that tube. I'd say get an SMG extended arm that just slides on, holds your battery in through here still, but it is a full stock that has an extended part so your batteries aren't completely in here because they will not fit. But those basic mods that you can do are really easy, fun. These even paint mods, everything looks so much better. The gun looks much cleaner. We are gonna finish the paint build before we go into gameplay. We are going to be using this and my ARP. I'm gonna be doing videos on how good this plays for how cheap it is and how reliable. And the ARP, we're gonna be playing Speedsoft. I'm a bigger player, but I can still play in really hardcore events. That's gonna wrap it up for today. And we're gonna come back in part two when we are taking the gun apart. I will show you how to take it apart what you need to do for painting, how you need to paint it, and pro possibly how to make new mods. But I also will be showing my new mags I get. So have a good one. Don't let it bring you down. This is the CM16 Raider custom DIY home build.